Frugal people always take pride in the fact that they try to save as much money as possible. Many people think saving money is hard, but it's not. One easy way to start saving is to distinguish between your needs and wants. Knowing what to stop buying will lead to more savings and less financial stress in the long run. You want to develop a way of life that does not rely on spending money and acquiring more things in order to be happy. Here are 15 things frugal people never buy to save money. Books. People who are frugal avoid buying books at all costs. Have you ever discovered that when you finish reading a book you won't pick it up again? If no one reads the books, they will get dusty and take up a lot of space on your shelves. Try going to your local library instead of buying books, magazines, movies, and CDs. Frugal people save a lot of money by borrowing books from their local library. Bottle water. Bottled water has negative effects on the environment. It's a waste of money that adds up over time. For less money out of your pocket, filter your tap water using a water pitcher. Get yourself a bottle or container that you can refill whenever you need water and carry with you wherever you go. Glass water bottles are readily available, inexpensive, and durable if you prefer them over metal ones. Jewelry. Jewelry is quite costly. You may not have frequent occasions to wear it, and few people would even notice or care if you do. You definitely have a few treasured items, such as a wedding band or an heirloom handed down from a loved one. Don't go out and purchase more jewelry. Just use what you have. It's a waste of money since it serves no use and is overpriced for what it is. Lottery tickets. Spending money on lottery tickets is a huge waste. It's quite unlikely that you'll win. By gambling with your money on the lottery, you are simply throwing it away. It's reasonable to purchase at least one lottery ticket when the prize is large enough because the winner must be chosen. In general, it's not a smart idea to waste your money on the lotto or scratch-off tickets every time you fill up your gas tank. Fast food. At first glance, fast food seems to be one of your more cost-effective alternatives, whether you're on the go or just don't feel like cooking. In the grand scheme of things, though, it is not cheap. The long-term medical costs associated with a poor diet make fast food's low prices seem even more expensive. You may save money and calories by planning your meals for the week, spending one day preparing food for the rest of the week, and taking your lunch to work instead of buying it. It is more beneficial to one's health and wallet. Avoiding fast food is one method to save money and prevent health issues caused by eating poorly. Coffee. Making a good cup of coffee at home is far cheaper than buying it from your favorite coffee shop. If you buy a coffee out five days a week and spend $5 each time, giving them up might save you over $1,000 a year. Despite what some money experts may have told you, giving up coffee won't make you rich. Of course, buying coffee on the go may cost a pretty penny. So if you're trying to save money, you should stop buying it. Food at the restaurant. People eat out for various purposes, including socializing, celebrating, and having fun. Cutting down on eating out might save you a lot of money, especially if you eat out often out of laziness or convenience. If you're tired at the end of the day, it's easier on your wallet to cook dinner at home than to go out to eat. Put aside a few hours on a weekend to cook a bunch of food to put away in the fridge and freezer. There's no need to go out to eat if you can have supper ready in under 10 minutes with little effort. If you're watching your weight, cooking at home gives you more control over what goes into your meals since you can regulate the serving sizes. Paper products. It's not wise to spend money on items that will be thrown away after a single usage. This category includes objects like paper towels and paper napkins. It's wasteful and expensive to use paper towels and napkins. Instead of using paper napkins, try using cloth napkins. Replace paper towels with dishcloths that can be washed and reused. At picnics, it's easy to use paper plates, throwaway dishes, and plastic cutlery. If you use them often because you despise doing dishes, you will end up throwing away a lot of paper. They are more expensive than a regular set of ceramic plates. Women's products. Women, even if you're unfamiliar with the term pink tax, you've definitely been subjected to it. It's not a real tax. It's just the standard practice of making things aimed at women more expensive than those aimed at men. Oftentimes, the smaller, pinker, or less robust women's versions of products cost more. That's cash you can spend toward paying down debt, saving for the future, or other priorities. It is more cost-effective to purchase men's versions of feminine hygiene products like razors, deodorant, and body wash, rather than paying higher prices for the gender-specific versions made for women. If you don't want to smell manly, buy unscented. Premium gas. Putting premium gas into a vehicle that doesn't need it is a waste of money. Even though it costs more, premium gas is neither cleaner nor better than conventional gas. 
the handbook should be consulted. There is little to no advantage to using higher octane fuel than what is recommended in the owner's handbook, as shown by this real-world test and by the U.S. Federal Trade Commission. You generally don't need premium unless you have a really expensive vehicle or often experience engine knocks. Laundry detergent. The more people you have in your household, the more often you'll have to do laundry. It's not cheap to keep buying washing detergent. Since you can't avoid doing laundry, whatever money you can save on laundry goes straight to other areas of your budget. With only a few inexpensive materials, you can produce your own laundry detergent. At a cost of $0.05 per load, it is a fraction of the price of name brand alternatives. It's effective as a cleaner and compatible with your high efficiency washer, latest iPhones. Every year, Apple launches a new iPhone with almost identical features to the one before it. I think it's financially unwise to purchase a new iPhone every year or two since they can endure for a few years if you take care of them. If you can hold off on buying an iPhone until its price drops significantly, you'll be able to experience the same level of satisfaction as those who are always on the bleeding edge of technology. But you'll do it at a much more affordable cost. Greeting Cards You may be someone who regularly sends greeting cards to commemorate special events and holidays with loved ones. Before you know it, you're paying several hundred dollars annually on cards. Greeting cards are nice, but a handwritten message from the heart will be treasured forever. Additionally, the price is really low. It's a lot nicer than shelling out four or five dollars for each card for someone else's unoriginal thoughts. Cable TV. With so many available entertainment options, cable television is no longer required. If you watch a lot of Netflix or Hulu but still hold on to a few cable programs, you should begin making comparisons. How much would it cost to switch from cable to an alternative like YouTube TV? Does adding a different streaming provider, such as HBO Max, offer you access to your programs and allow you to save money? What if you only purchase programs from Apple or Google Play that you couldn't miss? Giving up cable might help you save a lot of money, particularly if you're paying for channels you never use. Name brand items. Brand loyalty has a high price tag. If you have a brand that you consistently purchase, you may be overpaying missing out on sales, and failing to evaluate other options. You may save a lot of money by purchasing store brands or generics instead of name brand items. Store brands and generics are often just as effective, operate the same, and taste the same as the name brands, but cost significantly less. You may certainly discover numerous name brands in your home that you could simply replace. If you like this video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more content like this.